Hello guys, Scary Doc here. Today I am going to teach you how to do a DIY coffee cup. This is actually kind of cool. Um, you can do this for extremely cheap. So what you just need is a hot glue gun, a hacksaw, a pencil, wherever that went. I just had it here somewhere. Thanks. A pencil and a kind of V-shaped styrofoam thing. This will form the main body for the cup. And a plate thing of styrofoam, maybe a fourth inch thick. Um, you don't really need it this big. I just use like that much of it. So to begin with, we don't need that or that. Or that. Um, just want to kind of I guess measure something about three to four inches long and cut. And then place that on top of the next piece. Get your mark and cut again. Boom. That. Got your cup. So, with the things that I have, they have this little ridge thing right there. So, I put the bottom of the ridge on there, and like that. You can see that this was a little bit shorter than that, but that doesn't really matter too much. So, now you want to get your half saw out of the way. Grab your pencil and draw a shape of the cup. And just draw a rough outline of where your cup is. And cut it with your hacksaw. Then you can just get rid of that or do what not you want with it. Then you will want to grab some sandpaper, which I forgot to mention and sand down the edge of that. Sand that smooth, and then do both sides. Now it's time to get ready for your hot glue gun. Okay, I forgot one thing, we need the handle. So what you're gonna wanna do is cut a piece about a half inch to a quarter inch thick out of your uh, v-shape or whatever. I'm going to keep that going to sand it off a little better than I just did. We're going to want to cut another piece the exact same width. Going to sand the, both those sides smooth. So then with this one you are going to want to cut so there's the ridge side on this side. You're going to want to cut the ridge side off so Come down the side of here and try to cut that off. Sand it. Try to get it flat. Then this other piece you just throw away. But you're going to want to plug your hot glue gun in. You're going to want to sand the little nub thing off of the L shaped piece. And it should look kind of like that, maybe. It's kind of cool. You're going to want to use a low temperature hot glue gun for this if you have one. And I do not, so I will be using a high temperature, which is terrible, because it kind of melts some of the styrofoam. And you have to use even more of it. So let's just continue sanding some of this stuff down. Let's see if we were ready yet. Yep, looks like we're ready. Alright, so 
we're going to want to, on the ridge side here, put a line of hot glue down there. I don't know if like Elmer's glue, white glue will work or not. I haven't tried that before. So you want to line the flat side up with that. Push it in and try to get it as flat as you can. Try to get one side super flat. And then put another line of hot glue down on here. And once that's dry, you want to add another line of hot glue down the side. Wait for that to dry a little bit. Meanwhile, we can work on our cup handle. So there will be the. Let's see, is that right? Yeah, I think that is. So there will be a side that looks like it hasn't been cut yet. And you want to put that down so that you can have the longer handle up. This is, of course, isn't the strongest mug ever. I'm going to set that to dry for a little while. And this might be dry by then. And so, what you want to do next is find your flat side and put a line of hot glue around the outside of that. So now you can see the cup start to take shape. So I'll have to add a little more glue around this. And there you go. Now your handle should be about ready. And you want to do the same thing you just did along the outside of that. You do not want to wear a black shirt for this. It's a bad idea to do that. Because all this uh, um, gunk or whatever gets on you. Styrofoam gunk. I'm going to put this kind of long side. Bam, there you go. Got your nice cup. You just want to strengthen that up a little bit. There you go, we have an awesome cup. Looks really sweet. And just set that down to dry. All right, so once you're sure that it's dry, take your sandpaper and sand the edges smooth. 